Previously on The Amazing Race Canada. Oh, come here. I'm coming. Five teams raced from Regina to Quebec City. Despite their lack of French, oh, why don't we speak French? Jet and Dave broke through the language barrier to win their third leg in a row. <sighs> That's a hat trick. Yeah. Holly and Brett and Jody and Corey battled their way from the back of the pack. They're right in front of us. To a second place photo finish. That was way too close to call. Choosing the wrong set of directions. He told us to go this way. Caused Tim and Tim to plummet from second to last place. I see him. Let's go. But lightning struck twice. This is a non-elimination round. And father and son were saved yet again. You are still in this race. <laughs> now, five teams remain as they race across the country to win a year of worldwide travel for two. An executive first from Air Canada. A pair of all-new 2014 Chevrolet Corvette Stingrays, a quarter of a million dollars in cash, and the amazing Race Canada. This is Quebec City, built atop a cliff high above the St. Lawrence River. This French-speaking capital is the only remaining walled city north of Mexico, and home to one of the largest Francophone populations outside of France. Here in the Battlefields Park, where French and British empires once clashed, is today the seventh starting point as teams continue to race across Canada. Jet and Dave won the last leg of the race and will depart first at 3.05 a.m. For who? No. Fly to Ikaluit. None of us. Ikaluit. None of us. Once there, search outside for your next clue. You have $100 on your Interact debit card for this leg of the race. Oh. Oh, my pants are at the bottom of my bag. Oh, my jacket. Teams must now fly north to the Canadian Arctic, Ikaluit, Nunavut. Ikaluit is in Nuktitut, meaning place of many fish, and is the transportation hub of the Eastern Arctic. This northern outpost is famous for its sea life, wildlife, and breathtaking scenery. To the airport, please. We certainly feel like we have momentum right now. We've been first three times in a row. We want to ride this momentum all the way to the finals. I definitely am super happy that I'm doing this race with my boy Blackie. Any success we've had is due to skill and ability. We're more than just a set of pretty eyes and great hair. Is it shorts weather and none of it? I don't think so. Let's go, buddy. Fly to Iqualit Nunavut. Okay, let's go. Let's get a cab. Let's go. We are starting in second, tied with Corey and Jody. So we need to find a cab. Too sweet. Yeah. Oh, here, Hall. Let's go, let's go. Cab's there right we go, here, buddy. Today's plan is to get ahead of Brett and Holly and hopefully never see them again. That's it. All three territories off the list. Shazam. This is them right behind us, I think. Winning Amazing Race Canada is very important to us and would help us. As two physicians early in their career, we have a... a lot of debt. A colossal a lot of debt. Of <laughs> educational debt. But equally, or if not more important, is to be able to make a contribution back to the Children's Hospital, where we work. Air Canada priority. Just keep going. We need to get to Iqaluit as soon as possible. We're looking for the fastest way there. First flight is leaving at 6 o'clock. So, through Montreal and Ottawa. It was a bit of a bottleneck because it's not that many flights heading far north, and we're all on the same one. Yeah. Boom. Let's do it. Fly into Kaluit, Nunavut. We are starting the race in third place today. Hi, we're heading to the airport. We are not sure if Tim and Tim were eliminated in the last leg, so we don't know if anyone's behind us. I'm hoping that there's one flight for everybody so I know. we can get a chance to catch up. We're always going to be considered the underdog. You know, that's a good thing. We're using it to our advantage. Thank you. Hey, there's Cassie. Woo! It is really exciting to still be in the race. All right, going to Nunavut. To have John tell us for Again. the second time that we've been saved by the non-elimination. Interact. Interact. That's crazy. Like, that doesn't happen. I don't think that's ever happened. Tim's are here. There you go. Worst surprise of the day. <laughs>
We think the Tims are gone. And of course, they round the corner. The Phoenix. So you go back from the dead twice. I'm not even faking joy when I see them this time. Technically, they should have been eliminated twice now. They're kind of becoming a folklore. Can't finish them. They're like zombies. All teams are now flying from Quebec City via Montreal and Ottawa to Iqaluit, Nunavut. Once they land, teams must search the airport terminal to find their next clue, written in Inuktitut, the official language of Nunavut. I'm gonna translate this first. Let's run inside. <laughs> we need somebody to interpret. Okay, let's go. Inside, go. Go ask somebody what it means. Go ask somebody what it means. What does that mean? Do you understand what this says, sir? No? Does this mean something to you? Oh, I can't read that, so. You can ask him what that means? Yeah, can we ask out here? Excuse me? Do you know what this means? I don't know if it's this way or this way. Silver granola? So, perfect. Wow, that's like a different language. Teams must now make their way to the Sylvia Grinnell Territorial Park an area formed by glacial activity that occurred over 7,000 years ago. Once here, they will have to search the vast tundra for their next clue. There's a cab There's right a there. Cab. What's it called? The Silver, Silver Grinnell, Grinnell, Grinnell Park. Park. Okay. Taxi? We're going to Sylvia Grinnell Park. Is that another team in front of us? Yeah, it's the girls. Man. We are currently, we're currently in, in first. first. Leaving the airport. Have we ever been in first in the airport? Never. <laughs> Good. Sylvie. Sylvia Grinnell Park. So anywhere to catch a taxi? Does this mean something to you? Sylvia Grinnell. Sylvia Grinnell Territorial Park. Sylvia, 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 Sylvia Grinnell. Is that our taxi? Get it. Get it, Blackie. The girls and Corey and Jody are ahead of us. The Tims and the doctors are still trying to catch a cab. We're middle of the pack, which is dangerous. There, there, there. Where? On yeah. the left. I see a cab. Paul, Paul. Yeah, they're in. We gotta keep going, man. We're behind right now. On the left here. Yeah, they're right in back of us. Oh, yeah, Off I see to it. to the right. We need to push ourselves as much as we can. We gotta do this, Vanessa. Where do we go? Get going, buddy. See a box at the top there? Yep. This way? Where? Go down the hill. Over there. Here? Where? Here? We're gonna lose the lead. This friggin' sucks again. Search for the throat singers by the Sylvia Grinnell River. Teams must now search the park for two Inuk throat singers. <laughs> this amazing form of musical expression was once used by Inuit women as a means of entertainment while the men were away hunting. Where they hear the music, they'll find their next clue. Go down by the river. Come on, Broski. Slide down. <laughs> yeah! Clue box, clue box! Search for the throat singers. Where do we go? Please. There's people down there. You gotta calm down here. <laughs> Sylvia Grinnell Territorial Park. You can take us there. Okay, we gotta hurry, sir. Do you do you know where this is, sir? Sylvia Grinnell Territorial Park. Yeah, in the bathroom. The bathroom? No, no, we don't have time for the bathroom. Get out. Get out. Stop. <laughs> Sorry, sir. We don't have time for the bathroom. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out here. Paul, let's go. See where anybody went? Oh, the clue box is up there to the right. Search for the throat singers by the Sylvia Grinnell River. Ah! Oh, go, 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 as fast as you can. Listen to a throat singing performance to receive your next clue. Let's go. There they are. Right there. Yeah. I guess it's a big part of the culture and, and their tradition here. That's how they tell stories. I felt honored to be there. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much. Detour, harpoon hunter or igloo builder. To survive the harsh and frosty environments of the Arctic tundra, the Inuit had to adapt and rely on crucial skills. This detour, teams will attempt to master one of two survival techniques. It's their call, Harpoon Hunter or Igloo Builder. In Harpoon Hunter, wearing snowshoes and armed with a traditional Inuit harpoon, one team member must drag their partner on a sled one kilometer across the tundra to a target placed on the open sea ice. 
Once they both harpoon the target, the team member who rode in the sled earlier must drag their partner back, where the Inuit hunter will give them their next clue. In Igloo Builder, using only the tools provided and these pre-cut 30-pound blocks of snow, teams must build one of the oldest forms of shelter, a traditional igloo, one that will be able to withstand the unforgiving Arctic environment. Once the Inuk elder feels that the igloo can withstand a harsh winter's night, he'll hand over their next clue. What do you think? Nice first one, what do you think? Let's do it. There's the targets over there. Yeah. Careful, it's getting icy. Let's do the first one, Harpoon the first Hunter. One. Down here, Selena. <laughs> okay, Cora, let's go. So this is your, for your toe, right? This yep. goes around. My military training, every winter we have toboggans that we pull. So I rigged up a quick harness. If you want to shorten it, let me know. It's not, it's not going to go in like the way they, wait, wait, push it. What do you want to do? Me there, you back? Yeah. Oh my god. Where are we even going? An Inuit Hunter. <laughs> Cool. Oh, Thank we you. did it. Okay. Igloo builder, build an igloo. Oh, God. Oh. Hi, guys. Callaway is a place that uh, we see a lot of our patient population from. We're both practicing pediatricians at the Montreal Children's Hospital. To be able to come and see where the children and families are that we treat is just really a, an incredible joy for us. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That was great. Detour. Detour. Harpoon hunter or eagle builder? I think the eagle. Let's go. Come on. Fall, fall. That's it, buddy. Pulling the sled across the snow with my brother in the back was really difficult. There's snow, there's rocks, it's freezing. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Man, this is hard for you. Oh, no. Oh, no, Vanessa. You would think pulling my sister in a sled would be easy because she's extremely tiny. Like, I can't. There's nothing I can do. Like, this is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. It was brutal. We shouldn't pick doing the igloo. I feel as if we are going to be out today. Run, Selena, run! How am I supposed to freaking run? when you're doing this. Run, Selena. Oh, holy cow. You're doing good, Selena. Oh, hi. Oh, you cut your butt? That's your example. OK, start over here. How do you get the stick? I wanted to pee on it. OK, let's look at the model. Let's look at it. We decided to go with the igloo building mostly because the others seemed more physical. We know that we tend to have more difficulty with physical challenges. Seven plus the door. We were counting how many blocks of ice he had to try and really make it precise. The angle's not that acute. A little more like this. Harpoon hunter. Okay, okay. excellent. Let's go down and see what we're doing. Let's do this. This sucks. You can do it, Dad. You can do it. There you go, buddy. Is this good? Pretty tough stuff. Right. The harpoon throwing is harder than it looks. The target isn't as close as you think it is. Oh, well, at least it went far. How do we, how could we get this to balance? This one's quite heavy. I think we just start stacking. The igloo was way harder than we had imagined. How do you get it to balance? There's nothing here for it to lean against. We hadn't even really started to create a, a dome. Not a pretty igloo. Oh, uh, hold here, hold I'm here. Hold, I can't hold everything, Brett. Like that. It's never gonna stay, it's gonna fall in. Probably. It'd be much easier without these snowshoes on. You got it, Dad. You got it. 
Can I try? I can't move it. Go, go, go. Keep yeah, pushing, keep it. pushing. Yeah, yeah, that's the way, that's the way. Yeah, you're good, you're good, good. Ah! Keep pushing, Dad, okay, keep pushing. Sweetie, you're good. You're okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Let's see. Look at girl man's having problems pulling them. Do you think this is easy, Vanessa? Almost there, Dad, almost there. Good job, Dad. Just use every strength you have. Oh, come on. Before coming on the race, Corey and I didn't have a chance to spend a lot of time together. After I got wounded in Afghanistan, Corey and moved to Edmonton for some work. Yeah! Yes! Being on this race is a chance for Jody and I to learn a little more about each other. Yes! Thanks, nice, buddy. All right. Good job, pal. Let's go. So now our bond is even stronger than it's ever been. He's a big, strong guy, though. This means first place for Jody and Corey for the first time. That's what this means. All right, we need a roof. We got into problems when we had to lift the blocks to create the roof. Oh, this is so heavy. Like, you need to, like, lift your hand to take the weight off me. Please don't bury me, though. I don't know how to get it to stay, right? It's not even close. We kind of started to build a, a, a castle. We're not going in at all. No. This looks like uglier from the outside. So uneven. Oh, oh, no. We don't knock this igloo out. This could be the end of our journey. You don't give hints, eh? A few more steps, a few more steps, you got it. Well, the stupid Parkinson's, if you get tired and then your left side doesn't want to work quite right. Oh, God. You got it, Dad. I'm proud of you, man. Almost there, almost there. Our little mantra is dig deeper. That's the way. Yes. Push. That's the way, Dad. That's the way. Am I there? I think we're good. That's some serious hero work that you just did, man. If I can't change Parkinson's, that's fine. But it can't take Amazing Race away from me. Go do your thing. I'm fine. Knock that sucker down, my boy. Oh, almost, almost. Where are the other teams? It doesn't matter right now. We'll worry about the other teams later. You can do this. Come on. You're almost there. I can't move it. Come on, Selena. We were raised by the strongest woman we know in our life. Yes. My mother, she was a victim of thalidomide. And she's taught us to be fighters our whole life. We hope with all our heart that when we get to a challenge that is so difficult on the race, that we can channel our mom. <laughs> Get at the dome. Try again. Hold it. Just hold it. This is just a fork and an igloo. Are they done? Yeah. Home stretch. <sighs> okay, I almost feel like we should switch. Hold on. You want to give up on this already? I just feel like maybe 15 minutes we'll have it. Maybe it'll fall. In this game, it doesn't take much. One decision, and you can go top to bottom in you know, a matter of minutes. If you want to go, let's go now. I feel like we're close yet far, and I feel like that's easier. Get out of here. Good luck! We suck! This is what happens when you suck, you switch. We figured we could probably knock out harpooning around the same time that Brett and Holly finished their igloo. Brett and Holly might have trouble on that top layer. OK, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Oh. OK. OK, Hall, we just need to keep going. Yes. Yeah. The igloo building challenge turned out to be much more physical than we had anticipated. Just hold it. Hold it. I'm holding it. Hold it. <laughs> Paul, you, you can't just pretend. I almost got a block of ice on my head, Paul, Brett. Paul, Paul, you need to lift I up. I am not strong enough to lift it, OK? I'm doing everything I can do. It's not enough. <laughs> do you want to switch now? No, we have to finish. And if this is the end of us, it's the end of us. All right, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. All right. Woo! Travel by snowmobile across Frobisher Bay. Teams must now hike this large snow-covered hill and follow the path to a waiting snow machine. 
Here they'll drive north across the frozen ice of Frobisher Bay to the historic Hudson Bay Trading Post where they'll find their next clue. So we gotta get back up there. Oh, I free you say that. All right, let's hustle. This whole experience has been a whole lot of firsts for Jody Middick and his prosthetic legs. <sighs> oh, man. Hang on, hang on. Luckily, I've got my little brother helping me a lot. Let's go, buddy. Pretty charged up here. We're the first team out of here. You have to retrieve it. Good job. Good job. Come on. You got to sleep. Yeah, it's all good. This is our chance. Come on. Oh, Selena's hard. Come on, Vanessa. Come on. Yes! That's the way, that's the way. Get us out of here, man. It bothers me that they're off leaving when they've been eliminated twice already. <laughs> like, it's just like... This is way easier. We can do it. We can do it. Oh. <gasps> she's trying, oh. but she's not going to be able to get it, so... Oh. Come on. Oh. Vanessa, can you just focus? I'm obviously slowing down. I'm very tired. Okay, I really think we should switch hold, now. Hold this one. Hold it. The bottom is not steady, Brett. Oh, my god. Paul, you got to be careful in there, OK? Let's just focus and rebuild what we had, all right? We're nowhere near finishing this. I know you're wearing down, Hall. I know. I'm not wearing down. I think we're making a big mistake right now. And you're not listening. OK, fine. You quit? What do you think? Paul, I want to keep going. I think it's hopeless. OK, fine. You quit? What do you think? Paul, I, I, is it, you make the decision, Hall. You no, make let's the decision. Keep going. You have to hold it like so it'll catch an edge. You know, like so it'll almost hold I got itself. I it, Brett, but everything underneath is shaky also. It just felt. Like, it was getting more and more hopeless. Yeah, I know, the angle's very steep. Fred, it's falling. It's going to collapse the whole front. All right, ready to quit? Yeah. OK, let's go to the other one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's less than last. That's it. Come on. Little to your right. Little to your right. You're going to hit some rocks. Thank you, sir. Way to go, man. Travel by snowmobile across the Frobisher Bay. Sweet. That is awesome. Let's that go. That is awesome. Yeah, I see it. It's burn. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We're in, like, this isolated area where it's there's nothing but us. Making some good ground today. You realize how small you are in the world at that moment. Ah, the air is so delicious. Round up one. The girls are still out there. You can do it. This is ridiculous. Just keep going. Oh. No way! No. Oh my god! Wait, we can catch up. Keep it up. The girls took a long ass time to throw those harpoons. Somebody's still coming? What? Who is that? Hey guys. Dave? What are you guys doing? Hey, glues are old fashioned, man. Vanessa, just don't watch. Just go, 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 go. Yeah. That's how we have a chance. <gasps> you good? Yeah. So we kind of get ourselves in the Inuit mind state of hunting a whale. Oh, yeah. If Fuck. we don't kill this whale, you know, we're going to go hungry. I got to find a new technique. <sighs> but don't miss where you're going, eh? Oh, well, I see where I'm going. You got this, Vanessa. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, good. Go, go. It's the worst pain I've had on my legs. Go, 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 go. Ow. Push, help. Uh. Push, help. Push. Push, push, push. <laughs> Vanessa, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> go, go, go. Yeah. We can do this. We can do this. I feel like I'm riding a bull here. You'd be tired. I see it. The Hudson's Bay house there. Yeah. That's where our next clue is. Go. All right, buddy. Yep, roadblock. Who needs to fatten up? My turn, isn't it? Yep. A roadblock is a task that only one person can perform. In this roadblock, that person must consume an entire serving of muktuk. Hmm. This traditional Inuit meal is composed of raw whale skin and blubber. Rich in vitamin D, muktuk has been a staple of the northern people of Iqaluit for thousands of years. 
The locals call it Inuit chewing gum, as the combination of raw skin and fat make it tough to bite and extremely chewy. One team member will have to consume all 10 pieces. When the plate is clean, without an ounce of whale rubber left, they'll receive their next clue. Thanks. Let's do it, buddy. I think I'm hungry. I'm a picky, picky eater. So I, I think uh, I think super picky would describe yeah, it. Yeah, not picky, I'm picky, really like picky. super picky. Thank you. Okay. The whale blubber's got me a little freaked out, but I want to keep our lead. Okay. That first piece kind of hit my gag reflex, and I, you know, look. Get the water there, buddy. Mm -hmm. My mind is already set, like, I'm eating whale blubber. Everyone who knows me is going to be like, what? He's eating whale <laughs> okay, blubber. I don't even eat a tomato. I can't even <laughs> like mushrooms. <laughs> I started thinking Corvettes, <laughs> half a million dollars worth of stuff. So I just go, oh, 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 brain freeze. Ah. Take it easy, buddy. <laughs> nice, buddy, nice. And the crowd goes wild. Oh! Okay. Yeah! Yeah! We're nearly there. Woohoo! Keep going, girl. Give it. Yes, Vanessa. Yes. Come on. That was good. Let's pass the girls. Good job. Go, run it. They're running. Run, 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 run. No, please. I'm going as fast as I can, OK? Good job, Vanessa. Amazing. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Good job. You did way better than me at the pooling. Good job. OK. <laughs> Travel by snowmobile across the Frobisher Bay. Come on, Vanessa. How are we going to get up here is the question. OK, let's get out of here. Here we go. Oh, our speed bump is here. Let's do it, Poppy. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, over here, over here. Oh. Hey, over. After arriving last in the previous leg, the Tims must now complete a speed bump. Dog sleds have been used in the Arctic for hundreds of years and can travel at speeds up to 30 kilometers an hour. In this speed bump, the Tims must lead a dog sled team across the frozen waters of Frobisher Bay to retrieve a food cache. When they deliver the food cache back to the starting point, they'll have successfully completed the speed bump and can move on with the rest of the race. Okay, awesome. We seem to have our best days on our speed bump days, so I don't know what to make of that. Get on, hang on, because the dogs will go before you're ready. Okay, perfect. All right. <sighs> Hang on for your life, Daddy. Yeehaw. Oh, man, they're awesome. Look at those dogs. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Woo as you can, boys. Come on, guys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go. What's our destination? Food cache somewhere. To the right, guys. To the right. Here, watch. All right, ready? They're all of you, OK? Like a throwing a dart. I'm going to be here a while. You'll get it, don't worry. <laughs> Any salt and pepper? <laughs> the last one, thank goodness, was like just this little tiny piece. Thank you. You got it, buddy. Keep it down. Nice work, nice work. Yes, thank, thank you, you very much. much. Make your way northwest for one kilometer and search for Johnny at your next pit stop, warning the last team to check in may be eliminated. Teams must now travel on foot to the top of this mountain. Marked by Nanookshuk, used to navigate the barren and majestic landscapes surrounding Iqaluit, this panoramic lookout is the seventh pit stop in a race across Canada. The last team to check in here may be eliminated. Oh, man. This is it, buddy. Let's go. Let's go, Vanessa. Not alone. Go. Go. Caution. Slippery. Oh, my God. There's a carcass. Oh, my gosh. What the hell? What creature is eating these things? They're going to eat you. <laughs> We're good. Is this good? Yeah. Thank you. Travel by snowmobile across the Frobisher Bay. You are never safe in this race, no matter how strong you are, no matter how smart you are. Things can happen so quickly. Let's pass the girls. We just kind of put our heads down and start sprinting up this hill. Sprint turns into a jog. Jog turns into a walk. Quick walk turns into a... <sighs> uh, <sighs> 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 Let's go. See it? OK. Got it. Let's, Let's get go. out of here. All right, boys. Get, 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 get. Come on, boys. Come Let's on. go. Let's go. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. 
so glad you're with me, buddy. We started out well, right? right? And then we come around the corner, it's like, oh, and oh, we're looking up. Like a giant hill that we have to climb. Kicking ahead with a frozen muckluck. Come on, buddy, you got this. Don't be a hero here, let me help you. I know. Come on, boys, come on! <laughs> hey, good boys! We're good? Wonderful, thank you very much. All right. Speed job done! Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Go! Let's go, let's Which go, way? let's go, let's go! Go! Let's go! Sing it, ladies! They already did their speed bump. Woo! Okay, we're not far behind. As we're going across Frobisher Bay, the girls are behind us. I have to give them so much credit. Oh, wait, no, that is Tim and Tim ahead. We see everybody as our competition, and the girls are no exception. Yeah, we'll catch you! If they have a shot, they're going to beat us, and they'll take it. This is awesome! Come a little closer, come closer. Technique is good. I'm not strong enough. You have to get it, Hall. You can do this. You got this. <laughs> That's the right technique. <laughs> You're close, Hal. <laughs> this time, throw it angry. <laughs> You're getting closer, Hal. Hal, you got this. You'll get but it. I'm not anywhere close to getting it. Emotionally, now I'm starting to panic. I know that Dave and Jet also switched detours, and all the other teams have left. I'm never going to be able to do this. Never, never. Like, Aim the, don't even look at this thing. Aim at the sky and throw as hard as you can, OK? You can do this. I can't sprint. I'm not strong enough to throw it it's that far. It's not about strength. Paul, it's OK. I don't think I could do it, Brett, really. For more information on the places seen on this leg of the race, head to ctv.ca forward slash The Amazing Race Canada. You're really close. Oh. Oh, there's nothing to cry about. It's okay. Calm down. And we'll just get it. Okay? It takes you a hundred more. It takes you a hundred more. Okay? Okay, as hard as you can. Oh, so close, Hal. Oh. Next clue! Over there! Over there! You just stay with them. Yeah, I will. Okay, we're running. Okay. Grab your clue. Hudson's Bay Company, there she is. <laughs> Who needs, Who needs to, to fatten up? up? It's actually you that needs to fatten up, but I'll do it. <laughs> Who needs to fatten up? I do. That's you, kid. Okay. and the sisters are united again. Oh, a nice back rest. It's living. Whoa. Whoa. Ready. It's really fast. <laughs> I'm so glad Holly and Brett switched. At this point, we don't know where we stand. So really all we're focusing on is, you know, make sure we don't blow this lead we have on Brett and Holly. It's refreshing. Oh, looks good. This here? Go for it, Dad. So look that. Piece of cake, Dad. Piece of cake. And I just pound them back because it's like these people have eaten muktuk for centuries. It hasn't killed them. Just motor through it, man. Nicely done. Selena's doing a roadblock, and I was pretty sure she's going to puke. Oh, no. This is sushi. Stop trying. It's thick. It's rubbery. It's horrible. And also, there's a very <laughs> seafoody taste. Very, very fishy, like extremely fish. I love sushi, but this is not sushi. <laughs> Dude, we're almost there. Let's go. Come on, this is ours. Careful up here. Don't leave me, buddy. That was a strong finish by the minute team, buddy. Let's go. Watching my brother climb up the hill is pretty amazing. It's unbelievable. Dungasugitik, <sighs> 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 welcome to Ehalui, Canada's Great North. Thank you. Jody and Corey? <sighs> You're team number one. Yes! <laughs> <sighs> 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 As the winner of this leg, Air Canada is giving you two tickets to anywhere they fly in the Caribbean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I'm having the time of my life, and uh, I wouldn't have made it without Corey. We got number one today, right? Finally. With this guy, right here. Aim up, Hall. Aim up, okay? <sighs> oh, so close, Hall. Let me get this. Excellent, Hall. Excellent. I'm really proud of her. She just didn't give up. In a race like this, to have a stable relationship, to have a partner who's supporting you through really stressful times, really difficult times, is really important. Ugh. Go, Hall, go! It's just hard to chew it, like when I'm chewing it and thinking about it. And it's because they put it out like that. Maybe I should have done it. Okay, yeah. keep eating. You can do that it. That one almost got me. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. Dad, he just pounded them back like nobody's business. Wow. Finish her up. Wow. Let's do you this. Finish that fast. Nicely done. Come on, Selena. Stomach of steel right there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Good Someone job, guys. Thank you, man. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> nope. All right. Make your way northwest for one kilometer and search for John at your next pit stop. Oh. Is that the girls just ahead? <sighs> okay. Now we go to the Hudson's Bay Company. OK. You just have to start again if you don't, so. I was so afraid of throwing up the muck tuck because I knew if I did throw it up, I'd have to start again. Oh, they're coming. They're coming? Yeah. They're coming? Definitely the boys, Jet and Dave. Mm -hmm. it, look at it. It doesn't break okay, down. They're there. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. God. OK, Selena. But don't gag. Not bad, <laughs> You're good. Oh, no. Come on. OK, Selena. It's OK. Swap. You're good. Oh, it's OK. Good, good, good. That was a close call, but you got it. I was so afraid of throwing up the muck tuck because I knew if I did throw it up, I'd have to start again. OK, only one piece left. Okay. You don't gag. It's most important. <gasps> Jet and Dave are right in back of us. Right over there. Come on. OK. Come on. Oh, no. Come on. Take your time with that piece. It's the last one. Yes. Good job, Selena. Good job. There's an open, open. OK. Make your way northwest for one kilometer and search for John at your next piss up. Oh, God. <laughs> OK. Roadblock. Who needs to fatten up? Well, I don't. I'm already fat, so. Muck duck. Jet's doing it. OK, so what do I do? You have to eat all of those. OK. I have a very specific meal plan, and whale fat is nowhere near it. It's so hard. No, you don't know. You don't chew it. You swallow it. What? Like, beach season's coming up. This is just fat. Oh. You can have a six pack and then just 10 random pieces of fat. Just sad. Ugh. Oh, you got so good. It's not. OK. Press. OK. See him? Nope. Oh. Not even close. He's killing me. Not even close. No, Dad, you're killing it. Hold on. I need a hand. Yep. This one's for Winnipeg. This is it, Dad. This is it. Tim and Tim. You're team number two. You did that, Dad. From last and narrowly being eliminated from this race, second today, guys. Everything that he's been told is that Parkinson's is going to make him too tired to be able to push further. It's going to make him too shaky to be able to do anything. Oh, we did I this. <laughs> yeah. Today, we're sitting here second. I think I left half of me on that hill. That's, that's rough, man. That's some serious Tim Tom, Dan. Oh, Dan. man. That's my boy holding me up a mountain is what that is. Ah, thank you. Make your way northwest for one kilometer. Search for Johnny, your next pit stop. Dude, we can beat the girls. The girls just left. I think we can catch them. So we just start hauling butt. But at this point, I mean, my legs are dying. My lungs are killing me. Like, the girls are only halfway. <laughs> the boys are coming. Come on, Melissa. OK, thank you. Travel by snowmobile and search for your next clue. Let's go, you can do this. Who knows? You never know. There's still something ahead of us. You 
really never know, Hall. Right there, come on, let's go. Okay. Good luck. Who needs to fatten up? I do. do <laughs> this 1K run was brutal. I need help, Selena! Jet and Dave are gaining on us. Please, uh, they're coming. I can't push myself, I know when I'm gonna pass out. The girls are getting closer and closer, and having them in our sights made it a lot easier to sprint up that hill. For sure. Come on, Anna. Can you take it? Take my coat? Is this a joke? <laughs> I'm looking at this young 21-year-old that should be able to run this hill, and she's barely moving. You wanna just uh, give it to them then, Vanessa? Selena, stop being so negative. I'm 10 years older than you. You can go. Stop picking on me, Selena. I can't move any faster. Shut up and come. Ah. run uphill, I, I honestly gave it the most I could, and the most I could was walking. I know what I'm pushing myself to limit, okay? <sighs> really dying. <sighs> really dying. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, let's do it. Can't even push let's myself. Let's do it. Anymore. Ah. Ah. Oh, job boy. Jet and Dave, you're team number three. Oh, buddy. Vanessa and Selena, you're team number four. Good job. Good job, job. Thank you, guys. Job. Thank you. Delicious. I think it took you 10 seconds yeah. to eat all of it. I was starving. Thank you. Thank you. OK, one kilometer. OK. Ready? Let's finish this off. I see them. All right, great. Let's go. Come on, all. Oh, Brett. I'm... I'm so tired. I know, Hall. We're almost there. Let's finish this, OK? Listen, we got nothing but rest ahead of us now, so let's go. I know. I'm trying so hard. My legs are. Come on, Hall. Come on. I'm push. trying so hard, Brad. Push, Hall. Push. Let's go. We're so close. Let's finish this thing, OK? Let's go up there and stand the top of a Callaway. Holly and Brett, you're the last team to arrive. I'm sorry to tell you, but you've been eliminated from the race. I saw that coming. <sighs> Holly, are you absolutely spent right now? Yeah, I have like nothing left and I feel bad because I feel like I lost the Brett. No. You're your best, you're fine. Oh, you're great. We don't have this opportunity just to be here. It's. More than words. It's amazing. It was nice to see that even in the most grueling type of days that we still held it together and supported each other and didn't fall apart. I love you. Me too. Next time on The Amazing Race Canada, teams race out of Nunavut and into Nova Scotia. Let's go catch them. We're on an amazing race road trip. But Vanessa and Selena have a hard time getting in gear. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is very dangerous. Oh my god. Dave loses patience with Jet at the scary roadblock. I want you to get better at this now. And the stakes are raised at the second U turn of the race. Do we U turn anyone? Are you kidding me? 